Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories this week. The GAO report on foreign made drones. That's a bit of a woozy. We have officials telling Fairfax County to stop using DJI. Axon acquires D drone. And then lastly, a new record drone show. Let's get to it. In first story, the GAO Government Accountability Office released a report on the Department of Interior's stance on foreign drones. Now, currently, the DOI does not allow foreign drones to be used except for emergency situations uh, such as search and rescue and wildfires. The GAO studied the effect of the policies after the DOI asked them to do this, covering the four most active departments, which are the Bureau of Land Management, the BLM, the Fire and uh, Wildlife Services, the FWS, the National Park Service, and then the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, findings from the GAO are somewhat predictable. Uh, the majority of the drones are now nearing their end of life, and then replacing them with compliant drone is, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. You wait for it. Wait for it. Much more expensive. But due to the reduction in fleet size, the bureaus uh, have, have not been able to expand their fleet and their use of their drone, and they seem to no longer have enough drones for even emergencies. Uh, even for the bureaus that have purchased approved drones, the drones are not being delivered until six months or later after they are purchased. Uh, the GAO uh, gave some examples uh, that there was a purchase in April of 2024, and the Department of Interior had purchased 98 of these drones for the fiscal year 2024, and only 46 had been delivered, less than half. Uh, in other examples, the National Park Service purchased some drones for wildlife management in March and was not expected to have uh, the drones in hand until October, uh, nearly missing all of 2024 fire season. The GAO goes on to discuss that compliant drones are not as capable in carrying the payloads and nor are they as reliable. Now, due to these problems, not only have emergency flights uh, decreased, but non-emergency flights for research, survey or training and post-storm recovery have become nearly non-existent. Uh, examples include a canceled project in Alaska regarding uh, stream bank restoration, the loss of the ability to monitor boatings in Florida, Biscayne uh, National Park, and uh, other smaller projects showcasing park visitor centers and documentaries. Uh, lots of information in this report, so if you'd like to read it, uh, we'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, of course, this should come to no surprise. Uh, we've been very vocal against drone bans without doing any kind of proper studies first. Uh, lobbying organizations such as AUVSI have been uh, behind a lot of these drone bans for years, and uh, especially under a new appointed CEO, Michael Robbins, who admitted in the past to not having done any kind of research on current manufacturer capabilities, leading to, well, what you see now, supply issues like we see here. Next up, federal lawmakers uh, John Mulinar and Raja Krishnamurthy, sorry if I mispronounced that, uh, from the House of Representatives have urged Fairfax County to stop using DJI drones. Uh, in a letter to the County Board of Supervisors, the representative stated, the PRC made UAS platforms and sensors currently used by Fairfax County uh, collect high resolution imagery of facilities and individuals at risk, uh, putting them at risk of being collected by the CCP. Uh, this is the first time that we've seen representative attempting to influence a particular public safety department on what drones to use or not use. Uh, Fairfax County sits just southwest of Washington, D.C., along the Potomac River. At this time, we don't know how the county will respond, but we'll keep you updated if we hear more. Uh, maybe these folks need to see the GAO report. Third, Axon has finished uh, the acquisition of D-Drone. Uh, D-Drone is a counter UAS system that uses RF detection, radar, and cameras. Uh, the system can be expanded for defense in an area including jammers, uh, drone takeover, and kinetic means to stop a rogue drone. Uh, an important note here is that the federal government is the only entity currently allowed to utilize these kind of tools to stop a drone. Uh, we'll keep you updated if we see more from D-Drone or Axon. And last up, Sky Element broke the record this week for the most number of drones launching pyrotechnics. Uh, the city of Mansfield, Texas partnered with Sky Element to break the world record of most drone launching pyrotechnics at once. Uh, Sky Element had uh, 1,164 drones to break the record uh, in a free drone show for residents. Uh, if you haven't seen or been to any of the drone shows, we highly recommend uh, going to one. They're super cool, uh, completely different than what you've ever seen before, uh, especially the 
the ones that use fireworks at the same time. And that's all for this week. We'll see you later in the community happy hour and uh, on Monday as well. And make sure to check uh, on Monday our uh, post flight, which is the extended version of this news update, which is available to our premium member. So see you then. Last week on post flight. The BS bills like the uh, proposal that we've seen. Are you thinking or saying that the countering CCP is BS? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It, it's something that we had somewhat predicted because the NDA, obviously the NDA is not drone related, right? The NDA is this big... It's the Defense Authorization Act. It's the Defense Act. Authorization <laughs> Act. What's one upgrade you'd like to see to future drone models? You know why? A nice round ball like this would make it really easy to rotate. Jason, you said the same thing and you copied him, so you get half the points, you get 50. Mm. All right, moving on. Gryffindor wins. <laughs> Perhaps we'll announce a winner next week.